episode is brought to you by Support the Mountain's Herbal Parasite Cleanse. This formula targets the small and large intestinal tracts and larvae, the most broad-spectrum formula available today. 100% organic, formulated by Dr. Mikio Sanki, author of the Esoteric Acupuncture Series. For 10% off your first bottle, visit shopyogahub.com and use the coupon code CLEANSE at checkout. Hello and welcome to YHTV's Magical Medical Tour. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Christina Souza Ma, and with me is our wonderful medical guide, Dr. Glenn Woolman. Hello, Christina. Good day to you, Dr. Woolman. Another beautiful day and a very exciting day for us today here at Magical Medical Tour. Oh, yes. I am very excited. I know that. <laughs> My kind know. of healing, you know this that. Is a, <laughs> yes, this is a special day for all of us. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Magical Medical Tour. I am Dr. Glenn Wallman, and I will be your medical guide along with Christina today as we travel through an amazing quadrant of the healthcare galaxy in search of optimal health. Our guest today is Dr. and Master Zi Gong Sha. Christina, those that want to get in touch with us, how would they do that? Thank you, Dr. Woolman. Now, at any time during the show, you can feel free to ask a question or make a comment simply by scrolling down on your screen and typing it into the comment box. And no matter when it is, it could be a year later, two years later, we will definitely make sure to get it over to our guest or Dr. Woolman or whomever that um, you are trying to reach. Now, if you're lis listening to this as a podcast um, on your device, if you can simply just call us by calling 818 let's talk 818 let's talk and if you do so be sure to leave your contact information and we will definitely get back to you with whatever answers that you are needing thank you so much doc woolman uh you're welcome today we have a very special guest with us and it's a it's a privilege and a pleasure to introduce doctor and master zigong sha He's an internationally renowned author of over 25 books, including a number of New York Times bestseller books, and including The Miracle Soul Healer. He also is a very spiritual teacher, and he is a miracle soul healer. He was uh, trained as a conventional medical doctor in China, and then went on to train as a doctor of traditional Asian medicine in China and Canada. In 2006, he was honored with the Martin Luther King Jr. Commemorative Commission Award for his humanitarian efforts. And I really love this. In September of 2014, Master Shah was honored by the County of Maui, Hawaii, uh, honoring and naming September 21st of 2014, Dr. and Master Zigong Shah Day. Hmm. How good is that? Wonderful. Hello, Master Shah. Welcome to our show. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here, Master Shah. Normally, as the medical guide, I like to tell our viewers and listeners uh, the direction we're going to go today. Uh, normally, we learn about the heart and soul of the healer first, but I think our whole program is going to be about the heart and soul. So I just want to get right into uh, the program. We have a lot to talk about, but I want to get a little business done first to announce that you're going to be coming to Santa Barbara. You're going to be giving a uh, a workshop and a talk and a book signing, but you're also going to be doing some private consultations, which uh, I recommend to everybody on April 20th and April 21st. And the person to get in touch with, if you're very interested in a private consultation or possibly in the workshops, which I understand are potentially already sold out, is to get in touch with Adrian Lopez, L-O-P-E-Z, and that's 415-361-9541 or email at adrian, A-D-R-I-A-N dot Lopez, L-O-P-E-Z at drshaw.com. So that would be D-R-S-H-A dot com. Adrian Lopez at drshaw.com. Okay, we've gotten some things out of the way, and we're looking forward to having you here in Santa Barbara, Dr. and Master Shah. I am delighted to come and serve. Uh, it's great. So I want to start right away and get into some of the interesting parts of your beginning and take you to where you are today. You originally uh, studied. 
Western medicine and became an MD. That's true, correct? Yes. What did you learn about healing as an MD? As an MD, I learned wisdom, practice of modern medicine. In Western Medicine College, we also study traditional Chinese medicine. We have two years of training in a medical college. I learned both medicines. And what did you learn about our species in terms of healing from Western medicine and traditional Asian medicine? Now, I think modern medicine focused on matter. In ancient wisdom, there are three words. Jing, J-I-N-G. Jing means matter. When you are sick, you see a doctor, blood test for liver, SGPT, SGOT, for kidney creating BUN. So if you have a headache, you, got a, uh, you could get a CT scan. So our modern medicine, CT scan, x-ray to see some growth, surgery, cut growth. Modern medicine focus on matter. That is the, I call matter body. In traditional Chinese medicine, it's a qi body. You know qi, correct? Everybody correct. talk about qi, vital energy, life force. Traditional Chinese medicine has three major treatment. Chinese herbs, acupuncture, Chinese massage. Their goal is to promote the qi flow. That is the qi body. In my healing, you mentioned at the beginning, the heart and the soul. We heal shen. Uh, jing means matter, qi means energy. I'm doing Shen service. Shen includes soul, heart, and mind. I think that's excellent. The, the talk about in Western medicine, we learned about the energy being ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and most of our listeners know about that. In Chinese medicine, as you mentioned, whether it be in a martial art or Tai Chi or Qigong, it's about the qi. Is there a different energy in the soul? Very good question. Let me explain. A cell, cell is the most fundamental uh, function unit of the body. Every organ has millions of billion cells. When cell contract, matter inside cells radiate out to between the two cells. When cells are contract, matter go to the energy. When cells expand, energy go back to the matter. Modern medicine and the traditional Chinese medicine try to communicate for hundreds of years in China. They cannot communicate mm. because modern medicine talk about the bacterial virus, trauma, mental disorder, Traditional Chinese medicine talk about the natural energy, wind, cold, uh, dry, stem, and also internal uh, anger, uh, emotional factors. So they have different causes for the sickness. They are hard to communicate. But if you go to, if you go to cellular level, modern medicine focus on the matter, Traditional chest medicine focus energy chi between the cells. Therefore, they communicate all the time. Every moment, quadra, 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 our heart, lung, kidney, this moment, everybody try to think. Our brain cells vibrate. So therefore, modern medicine and the traditional chest medicine can communicate at a cellular level. So where is the soul? Matter, energy, both are carrier of soul. Soul is the spirit. In quantum physics, and information, message. So soul, spirit, information, message are the same thing. They are, uh, they are in different terms. 
So that you're, if you were traveling around the world, which you do all the time, and you came to a country where a child came up to you and had never heard soul, the word soul before and had no concept, what would, how would you describe the soul to this child? I said, uh, our soul is the light being. And uh, our normal eyes cannot see the soul. Spiritual eye, you know, we call, some people call third eye. Spiritual eye can see the images. You know, some child say, the, oh, I see a healing angels flying. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes the child say, I see a dark soul. The parents say, oh, bang being a child, do not see that. But uh, you know, in the universe, always <laughs> has a light, healing angels, and some dark uh, uh, spirit. So the child, the third eye, was open. Usually the third eye was closed after five years, more or less. Mm -hmm. Therefore, adults, generally speaking, adults cannot uh, see the uh, third eye images, but child can see. We can tell child, so is the uh, light being. Now you will see, dear healing angels, can you come? I, I call soul technique, say hello. If you met a very, very, uh, you know, one or two, two or three years child, you say, dear healing angel, can you come? And you ask a child, can you see a healing angel with a flying arm? Yeah. Uh, the child, yeah, 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 I can see that. <laughs> so that that's, so, that's called soul form, light being. Mm. I like your rendition of the child <laughs> and your rendition of the angels. I yeah. haven't grown up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be the key here, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. Uh, one of the things we talk about at, before we get into the work that you do, which I specifically want to talk about, uh, when, when we're interviewing other healers we always try and find out so in case somebody's watching somebody's watching the show and they want to do something like you what is the training and i also understand that you train people to become a soul energy healer like yourself so could you describe the training it would take and how you would teach someone to become a soul healer thank you i'm honored i have created more than 5,000 soul healers worldwide. I give example. I wrote the book, Divine Healing Hands. Uh, Dr. Uh, Christina, both of me, we all have a hand. Every human being has a hand. God has a hand. Everybody think of massage therapist and the doctor for chiropractor, people use the hand, spiritual healing, Use the hands. Therefore, I have a program. It's, it's getting popular, you know, more than 5,000 people worldwide, including all kinds of professionals, including med modern medicine doctors, ex specialists. So, divine healing hand means uh, uh, God gave me the honor to offer his soul hands for a person who want to be a soul healer. People come to my workshop. I just finished in, in Los Angeles. I have 20 countries worldwide to join with me. For example, I'm the new person. I They saw my story. They received my healing. They said, I want to be a soul healer. Then they come to my course. Uh, they, they put the one palm out like this. Then I connect with the divine, dear God, I ask God deliver a light hands to them. So after they receive, they learn how to use this divine the light hands to offer the healing. I give you one example. There are thousand, hundred thousand heart touching stories. A nurse in Honolulu, her auntie had a stage four cancer. She has a nurse friends in Toronto has a stage for lung cancer, and she was in vacation. So she thought, okay, I have more time to send my divine healing hand to two stage four cancer patients. She spent 10 to 15 minutes per time physically for three 
to four weeks. After three to four weeks, both stages for cancer will disappear. It's not her. It's God's hands. She had. She requests God's hand, light hand come out from her hand to this to a uh, person uh, shaking, shaking, vibrating. So after I heard that story, that was uh, four or five years ago. I said that that's it. God has given me so many honor to offer so many God spiritual treasures. I am going to focus divine the healing hands healer. You ask me how I train the healer. I hold a workshop to give them divine healing hand. Everybody practice together. If you go to YouTube, there are thousands of healing stories from my service. So therefore, that is how I train a healer. When you travel around the world, <clears throat> there are many people that practice in different cultures and different religions. So when you use the word God, how are you using that in the sense, is it a spiritual sense? So that each person, if they want to, if someone is uh, a Buddhist or a Hindu or a Christian or a Jew or has no religion, so to speak, they could still receive a divine healing process from you. Is that correct? Perfect. In fact, I was invited to the huge Christian church, Catholic church, Buddhist temple, Tao temple, or modern hospital to present to doctors. I said, my background, I study Buddhism. I also, I study Taoism, Confucianism. Chinese has a three culture. Mm-hmm. So why I went to any religions, I said, for example, Christian Catholic, you call God. In the Buddhist, you call Buddha. In the Taoist training, call saints. You know, in Jewish Adonai and uh, any any religions, <clears throat> they have their different name of God. I said, uh, respect your God. In fact, God is only one. God is named A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You, you honor your God, <clears throat> now we all honor God. That is how I teach. I have no mm-hmm. conflict with anybody. <clears throat> Excellent. When, when we talk about <clears throat> healing and healing the soul, in many of the other talks that we do with Western doctors and traditional Asian medicine doctors, we always ask about preventive medicine. Is there anything or are there preventive measures that someone could take to prevent their soul from getting sick or injured? Excellent questions. In 5,000 years old traditional Chinese medicine, there are four words. Yu fang wei zhu. Yu fang means prevention. Wei zhu means, excuse me, priority. So prevention is a priority service. Mm. So how do we prevent? There are so many ways. I teach you four power techniques. First is the body power. Second is the sound power. I just use a sound power for preventative uh, uh, process for all sickness. The sound, three sound. First is uh, W-E-N-G, uh, people, if you are listening to this interview, uh, I will chant it two times. Uh, Wong vibrates the head, the cellular vibration, the sound vibration, we all know. Sound has a power. In ancient time, we call to chant mantras, healing mantra. Mantra means uh, repetitive Sound stimulate the vi- <clears throat> the cellular vibration. Okay, I do two times. Uh. Inhale, one. even gentle. Inhale, one. that is uh, one uh, to stimulate cellular vibration of the brain. The second sound is ah. We all know how to say ah, ah. Inhale. Ah. Put 
Put your mind on the chest, including including lungs and heart. I uh, inhale. Ah, light vibrates in the entire chest. Ah, uh, one more time. Ah, uh, you can silent chant. You can at the home in you know when when you listen to this video. Ah, uh, you can nobody around you. You can chant with me one more time. Inhale. Ah. Uh, Beautiful, thank you, Anne, for doing this. And the third song is Hong, H O N G. Below the diaphragm to the genital, the whole abdomen is vibrated by one song called Hong, H O N G. Deep inhale, Hong. Beautiful, uh, we do two times more. Uh, um, Doctor, wonderful. Ah, uh, inhale. Hong H O N G Hong. Ah, uh, one more time. Inhale. Hong. Then we put them together. Ah, uh, doctor asked such important question. Preventative. Therefore, Wong radiates the head. Ah, radiates the lungs, the chest. Hong vibrates the abdomen. You just, uh, you deep inhale, you put the three sound together for preventative, more than that, for healing, for become younger. How many people want to become younger and beautiful? Uh, <laughs> they <can> help you. <laughs> okay, yeah. I do two times. Uh, deep inhale. One more time. Uh, in fact, when you do this, you close your eyes if you can. Deep inhale. We are bringing the workshop to the radio show. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I think we're all healed, and I can see the vibrations going out around the planet right now. You're going to be out of a job if you heal everyone preventively. <laughs> now, Master Shah, I have a question. When you are doing the sound vibration, does it matter if the pitch of the sound that you are making? Uh, very good question. Because some people has a low pitch or low frequency, some people has high pitch. It's a, just a follow nature's way. If you have a low pitch, middle pitch, higher pitch, they all works. Because every human being has a different frequency and a vibration. It's a quantum physics. Talk about it. I just now recently last year I published a new book, Soul, Mind, Body, Science System. Grand unification theory and practice for healing, rejuvenation, longevity, and immortality. I co write the book with the quantum scientist, Dr. Rulin Xu. So we are sharing this ancient wisdom, Jing, matter, Qi, energy, Shen includes soul, heart, and the mind. We all know Einstein's relativities, E equals MC squared. E means energy, M is matter, C the speed of light. Relativity is about the relationship about between the energy and the matter. But in ancient teaching, Jing matter, Qi energy, but they miss relativity, miss soul, miss Shen. Shen includes soul, heart, and mind. So our scientific equation is S, uh, Shen, Plus E energy plus M equals one. Many people may know a uh, Dr. Irvin Laszlo, and he uh, Deepak Chopra uh, honor him as uh, you know the father of a system. He read our book. He wrote the forward. Uh, 
He was so fascinated. He said that this is a breakthrough science is which is coming. So I went to Italy. I did some research with him. I gave him a personal healing, and he shared his testimony. He's 82 years old. The hands shake like that. You hold the ball, ba 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 ba. You stick scared. Mm-hmm. He gonna fall in the ball. I give him a one-time spiritual healing plus a few acupuncture needles. Instant stop. More than ten years. It's a people hard to believe. This scientist was so moved. Recently, he's wrote in a new book. And beyond the time, Deepak Chopra wrote the foreword. He gave me the order read afterwards with many great uh, beings and uh, servants. I call myself as a servant. So therefore, this new medicine is going to serve more. I'm not only offer spiritual healing, miracle healing. You have the power to heal yourself. I have the power to heal myself. Together, we have the power to heal the world. I'm moving to scientific field and to explain to the scientists, spiritual healing and the science should join together. They are separate. They do not respect enough for a long, long time. They are one. Therefore, this new science so mind body science system, brand unification theory, and the practice is out, but we will continue serve, continue share, that we bring love, peace, harmony, world family for humanity, for Mother Earth. That's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, that's why this is coming at the right time. Wouldn't mm. you agree? Oh, it's always the right time. <laughs> <laughs> For soul healing and healing the planet and people, it's always the right time. <laughs> Master Shah, do you do you still work with people on all the levels? Uh, you send people to doctors. You send people. You just said a few moments ago that you put in acupuncture needles and you do the healing. Do you do a combination of these things at different times? Yes, and uh, I am an acupuncture expert in sure. Be- Beijing. WHO World Health Organization, there's, there is an international acupuncture training center for foreign physicians. I was the instructor there. So also I'm a certified doctor of traditional Chinese medicine in Vancouver and a certified acupuncturist. So I have the license in modern world, uh, in Western world to do acupuncture and I can give Chinese herbs, but uh, I'm not practicing modern medicine in foreign country. I didn't go to the board to pass exam. I, mm-hmm. I received MD in China, but I can do the acupuncture in Vancouver in Canada. Mm-hmm. And uh, so this is, and also herbs. But now my majority service is to uh, offer spiritual healing, to offer spiritual teaching, to travel worldwide. Uh, we have just made 13 PBS series, so Healing Miracle with Dr. Master Shah and the Reverend Michael and Barbara D'Angelo and many, many of renowned people co-host each of a program. In these 13 shows, there are a child and the doctor said the child cannot survive. The child was born with a head one size bigger with a full liquid. Very little brain, scar on the eyes. Doctor said the child could not survive. The child cannot see anymore. After spiritual healing, all remotely, within one year later, the child turned to the normal child. It's one of the show. There are some people inject drug addiction for four years. Every night, drug addiction. Everybody understand this is very hard to stop drug addiction. So. Miracle healing. Stage 4 cancer from prostate to the lungs, many, 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 hundred thousand dots. And uh, hopeless case, chemo radiation, uh, you know, and, uh, and also operation are not, were not suitable for the case. And uh, the person recovered. Doctor could not explain. So I, but I do tell every people, go to your doctor to regular checkup. For example, for people hypertension, diabetes, I never tell people you stop 
modern medicine. You, you're working for spiritual healing, work with your doctor. I have a mental disorder, OCD, and a young boy since childhood. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. She, he heard she has to change one, two, three, four. Otherwise, he's going to die. It's a mental disorder. Then he worked with a doctor, and then he said, I feel better. Doctor said, okay, maybe you cut 25 medicine. Is that 25%? Then after a year, and he went back, doctor check up, doctor give a letter, medical insurance. His father is a dentist. They give a... Uh, Every year, $8,000 just for the insurance fee without doing anything. Now he turned to the normal insurance. He become a healer. So therefore, we have created uh, and 100,000 so healing miracles. My goal is not how much I can do. It's I am the servant. I share the ancient wisdom healing. Like everybody can do this. That's my purpose of life. I understand. And when you were in Western medicine and traditional Asian medicine, it was a practice. But now what you do is a service. And I, and I believe that the true miracle may come when you are able to heal the insurance companies and the pharmaceutical <laughs> companies. <laughs> uh, we just, uh, uh, my teaching is uh, when people is uh, sick, three reasons. Uh, Modern medicine have their theory, traditional Chinese medicine, other medicines, thousands of healing modalities. They have their own theories. In my teaching, it's very simple. All the sickness are due to three blockages. Uh, Jing blockages matter inside the cells. Qi blockages energy between the cells. Shen blockage is soul blockages which are the negative karma. Some people may believe, some people may not believe. <laughs> and also hard blockages, including impurity, selfishness, greedy, and more. Mind blockages include negative mindset, negative beliefs, negative attitude, ego attachment. We all know ego is a major issue for humanity. There are so many books, so many workshops teach you how to <laughs> remove ego. So therefore, right. this uh, so hard mind blockages can literally cause the sick that the people cannot realize. They only think about my back pain, shoulder pain, tumor, cancer. They do not think about the you know, negative mindset, negative belief, ego, impurity, uh, and the negative karma, which means we made mistakes in previous life. And in this life, we harm, we literally harm the others. Then that can cause sickness. Million people believe, million people do not yet. They have not realized these shen blockages are in mm. my teaching. Heal the soul first, then the healing of mind and the body will follow. For example, cancer. In my uh, wisdom, cancer is a soul sickness. The soul of the liver, lung, breast was sick. Uh, mm. Then the physical cancer grows. Uh, when the cancer becomes stage four in modern medicine, there's no way you return. Therefore, operation, chemo, radiation, three major ways. I own a modern medicine. I study that. But they have not realized modern medicine does not believe so. And that's the point our beloved modern medicine have not realized the power of soul. Therefore, we have to purify. We have a dear divine, dear heaven, a dear whatever <laughs> your source. Could you be, uh, forgive me? I made mistakes and uh, I will serve others in order to serve. What does it mean to serve? To serve is to make others happier and healthier. If you serve unconditionally, God will forgive you. Think about our beloved Jesus. You are forgiving. Miracle happen because Jesus offered God forgiveness. But we all can communicate with the divine or whatever the source you believe. Ask for forgiveness. Miracle could happen by yourself. 
Is this, I know you're involved in research on the effects of spirit and the human system. Is that what you're talking about right now? All of this is your research to say that the cancer is partly a soul problem, not just a matter or an energy problem. If not, what is the research that you're doing on the spirit and the human system? Yes, now we did the research, for example, uh, we choose to set, give, I give you one example. 70 people uh, remotely, not in a group. Uh, the scientists uh, made, made a double blind study. This is 70 people is divide, divided to A group, B group, 35 each. I do not know who is in the A group, who is in the B group. I was in Switzerland uh, on the phone. People was everywhere. The scientist, the researcher said, Master Shah, could you offer uh, the, uh, you know, spiritual blessing and give a uh, divine the heart? We call a uh, divine the give new matter, new energy, new soul of A group, 35 people. Nobody know who's in A group. Then transmission, one transmission, divine, wah, uh, give the new matter, new energy to the 35 people. Then one month, two months later, they analyzed. Uh, then they found out the A group, B group, <clears throat> significant transformation, including people more love, more kind, people anxiety, depression, significant change, sleep better, communicate with people better and more awareness. Therefore, we have research like this kind of research. We did seven of them. We, we shared with seven major medical conference. Now I'm still doing the research with some university. The result, uh, we are on the way. Uh, I will announce later. So another re uh, research is uh, government approved called Soul Healing Miracle Cases. You know, everybody said, I do not believe what you talk. I want to see the medical data. So therefore, stage four cancer before and after. Some people have a serious arthritis. One heel uh, is uh, like this. Uh, one, the, the one inch different. Uh, the feet cannot stand on the, the same level. So therefore, after a few months, the bone growed. 40, 50 years uh, lady, the bone growed uh, before like this. Now become a balance. Uh, now already balanced. Uh, to become a balance. It's a, it's a bone structure change. So this kind of story, nobody can deny. And also some people, cancer disappear, the child, the, the, the head big like this, and the drug addiction. We have the medical report, a uh, medical record, diabetes, uh, hypertension, is before and after. Now we, we are doing more than 100 and uh, chronic life-threatening condition. Yesterday, I just met a man, and he said he had 42 years chronic liver issues, completely clear with the medical uh, checkup. So therefore, this is the way, not only and uh, we create miracles, now we do the case study. Uh, we do the further research for the cells. Now we are doing the service for DNA. Everybody understand when you get the cancer, the DNA, RNA, uh, and the cancer cells are reproductive so fast from one to two, two to four. And, uh, and if this stage four cancer can go back, it must DNA change. But we have to work with the scientists to see the, and the DNA, RNA changed uh, in the cancer cells. This is, uh, you know, everybody understand, if the DNA, RNA can be changed, that is a breakthrough research. Humanity, scientists have not have that kind of evidence to change the DNA, RNA uh, with the spiritual healing. We are serving continually. We are continually doing research. I don't want to announce because when this news happened, it's a breakthrough news. We are still doing the job and uh, we will report in the future. I would love to ask you to uh, come back with us and do another show when this research comes out. Yeah, I'm delighted. That would be great. Uh, <clears throat> when, you, when you give some of your workshops, you talk about 
sacred wisdom, and you talk about ancient sacred wisdom and new sacred wisdom, right? Yes. What what would be an example of ancient wisdom, and what would be an example of new sacred wisdom? Beautiful questions. Uh, ancient wisdom. Uh, for example, uh, and um, how do we heal our depression? Millions of people suffer depression. Uh, when you uh, put, put one palm on the heart, heart is connected with depression. Heart is the physical body. The emotional body is depression and anxiety. How many people think about depression, anxiety is the keys on the heart? Put the one palm on the heart, put the one palm below the navel. We call, this is ancient time, they call Shen Mi, S-H-E-N. Shen means body, Mi means secret. Shen Mi means use, to use the hands to give a healing. The second ancient wisdom called Ko Mi. Ko means mouth, Mi means secret. Ko Mi means to chant the mantra. Uh, for example, uh, and uh, to chant the mantra for the heart uh, is Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong, Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. It's uh, six words. Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong, Wong Ma Ni Ba Ma Hong. Maybe you cannot remember that. Is it mean this ancient wisdom? It is shared in my book. Uh, and I have a so healing miracle book. For example, uh, you learn this ancient chanting. I have the CD uh, to teach people workshop. You ask me workshop, I'm teaching. When people put a hand here, everybody, uh, I chant just half a minute for you. Close your eyes, feel the vibration. Uh, like Dr. Warman said, uh, vibration. Uh, Christina, everybody give me half minutes. Wong ma ni ba ma hong. 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 Wong ma ni ba ma hong, wong ma ni ba ma hong, wong ma ni ba ma hong, wong ma ni ba ma hong. Oh, thank you for the time. Ah, uh, so therefore, ah, uh, when you chant in the workshop, oh, people feel so much mood. People feel relaxed. People feel hearts touch. People feel love. That's ancient wisdom. What is the new wisdom? New wisdom is the divine heart. Uh, in the Stanford University, a major research, researcher, he came to me a few years ago. He has a irregular beating, everyone stand uh, fibrillation uh, in the heart. For, uh, he took the pills for five years or six years. And uh, he, you know, some people introduced him, come to me for private session. He said, what, what the Master Shah, are you going to help me? I said, I'm going to give you a divine heart. You know, people don't understand the heart. What do you mean divine heart? People have no idea. I said, divine <laughs> heart is uh, God give you new matter, new energy, new soul and heart mind. What I did, I said, you close eyes. I just connect with God. Transmission, one transmission. Wow, a golden ball from heaven to his heart. Uh, I asked him, is, this is a major researcher. Uh, I said, just a China divine heart, silent. Divine heart, put the hands here. Uh, it's a new wisdom. It's not happened ancient time with the saints, the Buddhas. Uh, it's a God give me honor as a, as a servant. It's called, I call it divine heart. And uh, divine heart, divine heart, divine heart. You remember, I did a divine heart research for 70 people. Uh, so, therefore, we've seen only less than one month, and his uh, heart beat normal. He went to the heart specialist. The doctor said, I'm so happy to see the spontaneous recovery. And he <laughs> laughed in his heart. He said, this is not spontaneous. It's after divine heart. I do hours <laughs> a day at divine heart. Anyway, uh, this is called new wisdom. I answer your question, what's ancient wisdom? What's new wisdom? And uh, much more. So, uh, excellent. That was very good. I, wanted, I want to move into the future for a moment, realizing that there was ancient wisdom and now there's new sacred wisdom. If we were doing this interview with you a hundred years from now, is it possible there'll be even newer sacred wisdom? Yes, thank you so much. I could share with you 
almost in every workshop, I have three to four major retreat. Every workshop, I have new wisdom, divine and the source gave to me all the time. I have a hundred thousand students, more than fifty countries. Yeah, you know that the book just now you show the people miracle mm-hmm. soul healer. Uh, this the, there's I know twenty stories I can share. I always I receive the new wisdom. Uh, I want to share with the public. Why receive divine the Tao new wisdom? Today I receive, tomorrow I release already. I believe humans like a where it's like a warehouse. If you say, oh, this is the precious, I have to keep a secret. Then the warehouse become a fool. You cannot put in anything anymore. And when, when something comes, you release, then keep coming, release. Therefore, there are unlimited wisdom of divine heaven and the source, whatever you call a spiritual source. So therefore, thank you for the question. Yes, we can all can receive the universal teaching, new and a new wisdom. Mm. Um, Master Shah, I have a question. Um, if for example, an individual comes to you for healing yes. and uh, you work with that individual and they improve in their health, Yes. is there uh, chanting or healing that they need to continue in between seeing you? Yes. You, thank you so much. Uh, if, we, for example, any person come to me, and I give the give example hypertension or maybe arthritis. Then I will offer my spiritual healing. I offer removal, shen qi jing blockage, matter energy so hard, man. I just offer, I connect with God, God, the light coming to clear. It's like a wash away the blockages. Then I said, I'm going to give you a divine the knee or divine the heart for hypertension, divine or back, sleep disc. Wow, the light ball come in. And I said that you are going to chant divine the knee, divine the knee, divine the heart, divine the heart. Uh, just very simple. My first case was in 2003. And divine came to me. People may think, how did you offer the divine service? This experience will explain to you how I become a divine servant. When I was in Toronto, God came, divine came. Uh, God is a light being. People say, what God looks like? God is a handsome and short. God is short, <laughs> God is short and handsome. People think of God's emptiness. Uh, you know, people think all kind of way for God. God is a light being. God with uh, his team has said, uh, from today, I choose you as my servant. God said, uh, I said, what does mean your servant? God said, uh, from today, you offer healing, I do the work. I was moved with the tears. I said, how? God said, choose a challenge case. I will demonstrate for you. This is my first, this is my first divine healing. I choose a person named Walter, liver cancer, three centimeter. I said, God, how do you do this? God said, you watch. Uh, God is a light being. Uh, the person is here and the person is here. Uh, uh, the, 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 the God is here on the air. I got to send the light to the liver area. I saw a golden ball come to this man's liver. I saw a dark shadow phew, jumping out. I asked God, what does it mean for the dark shadow? God said, this is the blockage removed. And what meaning golden ball uh, rotating the liver? God said, this is the new soul of the liver. Uh, I said, how to do God said, just turn the man to chant divine liver, divine liver, divine liver, divine liver, like Christina asked. And afterwards, does the people need to practice 100%? You need to practice. And God said, tell water, if he can chant divine liver, divine liver for two hours per day, within three to six months, his liver could, cancer could recover. And this man said, I will chant more than two hours a day. He chanted for a few hours a day. Two and a half months later, he went to check up, liver cancer disappeared. Uh, I have thousand, hundred thousand cases like this. But Christina, thank you for the question. Anybody got my healing, you have to uh, uh, practice uh, afterwards. And also, 
I get your now you know the cell phone is so convenient. Thank modern <laughs> technologies. Uh, you can see me. We can chat like this, like we are together. And I will sing yo ia ia yo ya yo ya ia ia yo ia ya 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 yo hey hey yo ya yo. E-I-O, E-I-E-I-O. I, I, I'm singing a soul song, hard song with the vibration, with love. In my teaching, love melts all blockage. Forgiveness brings inner joy, inner peace. Compassion boosts energy, stamina, vitality, immunity. Light the hills and the reach of needs. So therefore, I sing a soul song. And for healing, I give one example, a India major governor, and everybody knows Sai Baba. This family is Sai Baba's trustee, very wealthy family. They own few hospitals. The wife gets a serious leukemia and uh, very aggressive leukemia in medical services. This kind of leukemia has nobody recovered. Then they found me remotely. I, I was in Toronto. They were in Mumbai. I just send the spiritual healing from God. I, you know, I'm the servant of God. Uh, I got to clear the blockages. I yo ia, ia, yo, ia, yo. I sing half hour. I said, record it. I said, put my singing beside your mother. But they do not believe in the mother, believe Sai Baba, the Indian guru who's Master Shah. They have no idea. But the son said, this is spiritual healer. He's singing love for you. Listen. And I, she put my CD beside her day and night. They gave her two weeks life. Energy was depleted and low fever, cannot eat anymore. Doctor said two to three weeks she could transition. But just listen to my CD. Uh, and she didn't know how to chant with me. My CD is a service. Blah, 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 blah. We really know the vibration, the frequency. And then two or three, two or three weeks later, she went up to the hospital. Two months later, she went back. Leukemia completely disappeared. That is the what kind of miracle I served humanity. So many. I'm honored to be serving. It seems Beautiful. That, Thank you. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you for that. It seems that uh, people are willing to take prescriptions multiple times a day and do many <laughs> things. It certainly makes sense that they should be willing on the on the idea that they are going to heal to take a half hour a day of chanting and doing the work that you do also as part of the combination. You know, when I when I look at your videos and when I look at your books, you always have this beautiful smiling face and you look very happy. In all of this, I'm wondering, does Master Shah ever have a bad day? Uh, yes. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, something, something uh, for example, uh, um, you see a student very suffering. You see that they will transition the hospital. Uh, I could not heal anybody. I never promised anything. Uh, there are 100,000 soul healing miracles. Some beloved students, family members, they transition with uh, stage 4 cancer, heart attack. Uh, so why had uh, this kind of news came to me, I feel sad. But I, even I feel sad, I said, uh, everybody think of this wisdom. When every family has a new child, child just born, mother just gave a birth, Child, wah, 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 child cry. Uh, <laughs> but everybody happy, whole family, ooh, new life is here. But the child said, oh, cry. Uh, and the child said, I come to Mother Earth, I may suffer it. Uh, you know, family is so happy. Seek about the transition. Uh, the soul is going to transition uh, phys- uh, transition from a physical life to a spiritual world. Uh, physical life is limited, the soul is eternal. So after a person die, death, the soul out, the whole family cried. The soul said, I'm so happy. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm so leaving. So it's so happy, whole family crying. When the baby comes, baby crying, everybody's happy. Uh, so this is how, oh, look, how can we look at life. You know, I'm not sure which I like more, your rendition of a child or your rendition of the soul. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're both great. Uh, and also, I want to say, you asked me, I, 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 I often have a, a laughing face when I speak, talking. You know, many 
people told me, ah, if they just see my happy face, the healing already happened on, on that. You know, in my book series, So Healing Miracle series, uh, the first sentence I said, the purpose of life is to serve. I have committed my life to this purpose. To serve is to make others happier and healthier. Uh, to share with people how to heal, to offer the healing, to make people healthier, and to teach, to chant, to meditate, to make people happier. That's the purpose, two major issues. What are the most important value for a human being? Healthier and healthier. Uh, and I have served so many poor people. I have served so many millionaire, billionaire, country leader, bank owner, all kind of wealthy people. Uh, when I see their suffering on the stage for cancer, life transitioning, you know what they told me? They told me money was useless. I get a few big men told me like that. Of course, uh, it's their privacy. I cannot share the name. They truly told me, they said, uh, I put such effort in my whole life for the money. I forgot my heart. I can. I have not served enough. So when they are so sick, when they are go, when they know they are going to die, they understand the service. Now, uh, by the way, there are so many wealthy people who are serving, gave so much money. Some most wealthy person, Mother Earth, they are giving ninety percent of their wealth for service. Uh, thank you so much for this wealthy people. The purpose of life is to serve. If you have money, you give money. If, I, if you have wisdom, you give wisdom. You can do some volunteers to make other people happier, healthier. Do it. Like uh, Dr. W uh, Warman and Christina, you are serving with your radio show. You bring the message, loving, compassionate, sacred wisdom, knowledge. You are serving in a very special way. So many people are listening, people hard are moving. My purpose is to create a love, peace, harmony, world family. We are one. God gave me a soul son. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join heart and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Could I get a permission to sing one time this uh, God, love, peace, and harmony soul song? <clears throat> Absolutely. <laughs> How everybody close the eyes. Uh, now millions of people are singing for this. Everybody choose one part of the body for healing. One time I have a national radio show. A lady said, Dr. Shah, Master Shah, can you give me uh, my pets? She has a beloved uh, cat always with her. She said, my cat has a urinary bladder cancer. Can you do a miracle hit? I said, nothing I can promise. I just transmission. I said, God, clear uh, and uh, the blockage. I sing the piece of harmony. I just one minute. Then half years later, she interviewed me again. She said, a miracle happened in my cat, Master Shah, transmission. And the same in one minute, my cat was healed. She didn't chant for the cat. Uh, Sometimes God work. I, I do not take any credit. I'm your servant. Everybody silent, choose one part of the body. This is my healing service for you. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join heart and souls together. La peace and harmony, la peace and harmony in so sound. Lu la lu la li, lu la lu la la li, lu la lu la li, lu la lu la li, lu la lu la li, lu la. In Chinese, 我爱我心和灵, 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 
ไปชวนเรื่นในวันลิงรุ่งเคมูสิสังสิ่งไอพิงอันเคียสิ่งไอพิงอันเคีย Thank you for the opportunity. Therefore, I'm laughing, happy, <laughs> deliver this happiness to each of you. <laughs> <laughs> That was beautiful, and I I would recommend people listen to this part of the show many times uh, after uh, in another atmosphere and with eyes closed and with a little more intention and attention. That was great. We're speaking with Doctor and Master Zigong Sha, a world-renowned author, spiritual and soul healer, and humanitarian. I wonder, as we come to the end of our show, even though you've given us many health and healing tips, do you have a tip for us? Yes, ah, uh, I have a tip. It's a two song, uh, two number, one and a nine. You know, one nine, one two three, one nine. One is Chan E Y I. Everybody trying with me. E E, e. e uh, yeah E yeah. One Y I E number one. Nine is Joe. You some man's name called Joe. J O E Joe. Follow me, Joe. 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 Yeah. Joe number nine vibrates in the abdomen. E number one vibrates the head. In ancient wisdom, you know everybody think about the senior, your parents, your auntie, uncle, some very good friend. When they are old, they before transition, they cannot control the urine incontinence, cannot control stool. Old people hard to walk because the lower parts of the body no energy. Therefore, chu 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 vibrates the lower part. And the people, you know, hypertension, brain bleeding, phlegm, too much blocking in the head. The e, jo, ah, mood energy go down. Ah, you drive the car. E, jo, e, jo, e, jo. I have, I have the tip. I have two lawyer. One is in Toronto. One is in Vancouver. They had the constipation. Take a fiber coffee. Ah. I say the drive the car. E jo e jo e jo. Buy a bottle. Buy a bottle. Just ah, just buy one week. No more constipation. A lady said, "Master Shah, it really works." I said, "How works?" He said, "I have constipation. I went home. I did a e jo e jo. I have not responded yet. My husband responded right away. I said, 'What happened?' He said, 'My husband has a diarrhea problem.'" <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Shaw, now, now, now I'm really uh, confused because I'm not sure I've taken over. I think, aside from the imitation of the child and the imitation of the soul, I think your your rendition of the constipated attorney is the best for me. <laughs> I, I like that one the best. <laughs> I'm grateful to our very special guest, Doctor and Master Zigong Sha, for sharing his wisdom, experience, and expertise with us as he travels around uh, the planet and his humanitarian and soul healing causes. I'd like to thank all of my teachers and my healers to allow me to be on my journey today, and I look forward to getting together with Christina Segovia and all on Magical Medical Tour. As we search another quadrant of the healthcare galaxy, until that time, Dr. Shaw, it's been a pleasure, and thank you so much for being with us. And I wish you all optimal health. <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Wall, man, and thank you, Christina. Thank you, your your engineer. I'm so honored. Thank you, all the listeners, letting me continue to serve you. In fact, I have a free chanting channel in drshaw.com. A hundred thousand people put a request. I gather all over the world people and spiritual healing angels, Buddha Chan. There are more than fifty thousand people give a patience in letter. It's a free service. Let me let us serve you more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much, Master Shaw. It's been such a pleasure and honor. And please, thank you to your your wonderful team there that has helped us、um, make this possible with you. Thank you, thank you to all of you. I I'm very grateful、uh, to be a servant. Love you, love you, love you.
We are so honored. And of course, thank you each and every one of you for joining us in this new platform of education and information. We're grateful for your continuous support and we look forward to hearing your feedback on how we can serve you better. If you would like to contact or connect with Master Dr. Shah, please visit his website, drshah.com, D-R-S-H-A dot com. And there you will find his series of event calendar and uh, many, many things to help you on your journey to optimal health. If you would like to connect with Dr. Glenn Woolman, you can do so through his website, glennwoolman.com, where I do encourage you to learn about his metaphor square breath. Again, we are always grateful for your continuous support and feedback. We always love to hear from you, comments or suggestions. Um, please, whenever you have time, drop us a note in the comment box or just give us a call at 818-LET'S-TALK. 818 Let's Talk. Until next time, namaste. I think it's important to be authentic and to come from your heart. So those are five quick uh, little tidbits and tips for people in the future of medicine or in the future of your own specialty. You know, that, that's uh, these five questions, uh, as I listen to them and, and um, think about them, they're brilliant for anyone going into any field. That's where I came to that. I started looking at his medicine, and as I was looking at it, I 